you know, I think our culture is one that uh, uh, really, you know, in, in colonial America, as you well know, uh, Jerry Auerbach in his book Justice Without Law would have uh, emphasized the reality that, that mediation was uh, the approach to resolving conflict in these colonies. And as long as there were homogeneous colonies, uh, that worked out relatively well. When they started trading with each other, now we have some problem. And, and for the first couple hundred years, you know, if you didn't like what was going on in your colony, you'd just move west. And that worked out pretty well. Uh, but I teach it at Pepperdine University, which is on the beach in Malibu, California, and we look down at a pier there. There is no west. And once you get to the end of the pier, that's about as far west as we can go. So now as a culture, we're turning around and saying, okay, if moving west isn't going to do it, how are we going to live together? How are we going to deal with these difficulties? And, and so I think we search for tools. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the litigation tool was an excellent tool for a couple hundred years. And, and, and those of us who are mediators want a strong litigation system mm -hmm. that helps my mediation be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, but the reality is we looked at a single tool for a couple hundred years, but it got very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, it got very slow. And we began to realize there were disputes that it simply was not as appropriate for. Mm -hmm. Thus, now in Los Angeles, there are probably 20, 25 different dispute resolution processes used every week. Mm -hmm. And we're saying, let's be a little bit more creative about this. 